I think fitness has always been my drug. I've never really done normal drugs. I've never smoked uh, because it's just illogical. And I've not, never been a massive boozer. Um, and I, I learned quite early because I used to swim as a kid with Sipia Cardiff Swimming Club that uh, you get a massive buzz from feeling fit. So I've always kept it going and, you know, found it hard to work as the years have gone by. But uh, I get it. And so I can, I can see the advantage for, you know, NHS staff trying to get involved and do it for themselves, really. If you're starting from a position of not having done much exercise, I think, in your life, then one of the main barriers is not trusting that you get that buzz and not trusting that there is a reward at the end of it. And it is actually always going to feel horrible because it is hard work, you know, uh, training and, and um, you know, putting yourself through the mill a bit. I used to keep a little exercise diary of uh, swim sessions that I used to do and then times within those swim sessions that I would be achieving. So then you have got a point of reference. So that's a brilliant starting point because then fairly quickly, again, you'd, I mean, you'd, the advantage of starting from uh, a habit of not having done a hell of a lot is that your progress will be really quick. So you'll probably have a, uh, a fairly vertical um, improvement in, in your fitness level. So it's lovely to be able to back ref what you used to be like uh, and then kind of give yourself a little mini pat on the back because, you know, you are doing uh, well in comparison to where you were. So it's a, it's a great idea. Yeah, log, log everything. Log what you're eating, log where you're going, log going upstairs, if that's the thing as your starting point. You know, log it all because then when you read it back at Christmas and you go, oh, well, I've come a long way when you're running marathons, um, then that's going to compare really beautifully.